Hello today, and today we're going to have a game of Rig Attack on the Amstrad CPC. Um, the reason why I want to play this because I saw Chinivision review this on various systems. Um, one of them was the Amstrad CPC. So I wanted to see for myself how badly this plays. It doesn't look very good to be honest with you, but I want to see for myself how badly this plays. Right, so you can have cursor keys or joystick. Um, so let's push start button and let's see how bad this actually plays. So here we are. So once you land, that's it. Nothing happens, it looks like the game's crashed. But then you take off and it's stuck. That is horrible. Why would it want to scroll like that? It scrolls when it does scroll. It's nice and smooth, but why does it do that? That is just pointless. The way that scrolls. Um, the helicopter keeps going until you change the direction, or you can push up, and the helicopter will stop. If you push down, it makes the helicopter go down, obviously, up or down. But you've got to. Put it in a different direction to make it stop going in that direction. Right now we got a heli um, helicopter, a submarine. It's probably the fastest submarine ever made. Perhaps it was the Beatles because it was a yellow submarine, and we've got to attack it. Right now we can fire. We can only fire when there's a submarine in sight. But this has got to be the fastest submarine I've ever known. And I've got him! Well, that was a surprise. Didn't think I would do that. Now, we'll just... There's no point in flying along. You might as well just sit there and wait for it to turn up. Because you can just carry on and the uh, map does loop around. And you can go in either direction. But you're better off just waiting and see if a submarine turns up. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, you do have a fuel limit. And it's represented by colour at the bottom. So I need to find our landing platform on an oil rig. There it is. Now we've topped up. Now we're back to green. And here's the submarine's just turned up with the Beatles on board because it's a yellow submarine. Probably I on drugs, but there you go. Oh fuck! Oh yeah, I exploded because I crashed into the water. Yeah. Because helicopters explode when they crash into the water. Right, so we're topped up on fuel. The annoying thing is with the controls, you cannot go in any diagonal. Um, can't go diagonally. No diagonal direction in this game, which I find annoying. Scrolling stoop. Well, the scrolling doesn't make sense. Here's the yellow submarine with the Beatles on board. And when the submarine's in sight, you cannot go off the screen. You've got to attack the submarine. And that's put me in a really. Put it in a really awkward position. And I fucking got hit. So you get five lives in this game. So this game is flawed in a lot of areas. Controls. Um, the game, the game could have been good, but this version is shit. It never came out on the Commodore 64 and ZX Spectrum, apparently, but it did come out on the BBC Micro, Commodore 16, and I can't remember. There's another one. Because Chini Vision did cover them all. Oh, the Acorn Electron. I've got here again. Well, I don't know if it didn't come out on other systems. I'm not sure. But... No, I'm surprised it's never come out on the ZX Spectrum and Commodore 64. Which the Amstrad, the Commodore 64 and the ZX Spectrum were the three main 8-bit computers. popular I should say in 
in most European countries and worldwide, I think. I don't know. That's why I meant it's the three popular computers. Right, it's a submarine. It's the beat. Oh, fucking hell. Yeah, this, this, this is shit, basically. This is really shit. Don't like that scrolling. That's another flaw. The controls are shit. Can't go direct, direct diagonally got to either push up and down to stop the helicopter from going in, in its direction oh see what I mean the scrolling doing that I was right there I couldn't avoid it that is just stupid do I particularly want another go no I don't because it's crap oh look it's done by Tynesoft yeah now yeah, well, when I think of Tynesoft, I think of crap like um, Super Gran. I believe they also did uh, Feed the Same Pet. Yeah, the quality of Tynesoft games ain't great. And this shows. Anyway, I'm going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and goodbye.